back in Exmouth. I used to live here about four years ago. I uh, lived here for three and a half years. This is Exmouth in the winter, so I'm not going to go to the seafront today because it's going to be a bit bleak. But there are quite a few charity shops here, so as always, open mind. Not going to expect to find anything, but you just don't know, do you? You just don't know until you have a look. So join me. I've got my GoPro, of course, I'm filming with it now. Strap it to myself. Yeah, let's see if we can find some bargains to resell on eBay or keep for myself or use as Christmas presents. So three options today, let's get going. Okay, let's get this out of the way, shall we? This is a barber jacket. Uh, it's not a wax jacket. Look at that. Sold as seen, cuffs removed. There you go, barber insignia there. Yeah, they weren't joking. How on earth can you sell that? That's going to take such a lot of work to repair. And they still want £12.50! Oh yeah, I got a cool hair long sleeve, that's for me. Absolute joke. Seriously, give it up. Oh, talk about a blast from the past. Look at that, Howie's. Man, I haven't found Howie's in ages. It used to be my favourite brand to resell when I started out, but it's just dropped off a cliff. This is a size medium. I think they wanted seven quid as well. It was only cotton, so yeah, I left it, but... Oh, man. Memories. Now, these caught my eye. Um, they look like quality from, from afar. Sure enough, on closer inspection, look at that label. Gore-Tex. All oh, right. Um, never heard of this brand before. Is that Aura? Yeah, never heard of it. Um, but yeah, the quality felt really good. Weren't Vibram soles, but that Gore-Tex marker... Well, I mean, it isn't put on, uh, you know, every Tom, Dick and Harry boot. So, um, yeah, I was intrigued. That is all the price. What's that? 20 quid. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But, look, I'm using this as a learning curve, as a learning exercise. Brands to look out for, but uh, <laughs> not buying them. Okay, next shop, Cancer Research. Yeah, they have, they have some cool stuff in there, actually. Bit of Paul Smith jeans. Uh, this was a, I believe it was just like a cotton V-neck jumper. What is that? Is it seven pound fifty? Look, if you buy them for yourself, that's a great price. Um, Paul Smith, it, ah, it does okay for me, but look, it's just a little bit plain. You know, who's going to know you're wearing Paul Smith apart from that tiny label down the bottom? And I mean, you could probably squeeze twenty, twenty-five out of that, maybe. Uh, but for seven pound fifty. Nah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna get that. Um, don't know why I'm showing you this. Probably just to tell you that Hugo Boss polo shirts really aren't worth bothering with. Long sleeve, perhaps, but small size. Um, not a huge amount going for it. A bit like Ralph Lauren. If it's not a huge amount going for it, then uh, not worth it. And definitely not worth it for nine pound fifty. Man, this brand's like buses. Check it out. Or some more Paul Smith. Now this one's a little bit more um, attractive. One at £6.50, that's good. This is more of a, again, it's a cotton um, jumper, but it had the, the stripy zebra on there, which is good. Uh, double tag, because you know, you never have too many tags. Oh, it's free. No, it's not, but it was only a size small. So um, again, if that was the XL size, I might have given it a go. But given it's a size small, nah, it'll take ages to sell. Okay, moving on to the jeans. Uh, these were, oh yes, All Saints. Now, again, if you saw my um, my video about uh, brands that don't do too well, All Saints did feature. Now, for a fiver, these would have been a great price back in the day, but I just don't find All Saints does all that well these days. Uh, these were an older pair of jeans. Uh, what does that say? Noir Dreamer? They're from 2008, so... Yeah, a bit of age to them. But again, not a huge amount going for them. Um, you've got to look pretty close. There's the Ramskull logo. So you've got to look pretty close to see it is All Saints. There just wasn't enough going for it. And to be fair, the comps weren't filling me with hope either. So, um, nah, I left those two. What is this? Non-clothing? Yeah, I actually found a jelly cat in a charity shop. I do not find these very often. But then again, I don't really search through every um, plush or soft toy bin. So pleasantly surprised to find this this is oh i'll put his name in here it's like rough rough tough something like that anyway he's a pig he was three pounds he's probably worth about mm, 10 to 12 plus postage but that is going straight to felix when the clothing sections let you down you've got to branch out 
Um, I gave this a go. This is a Stoke City Football Club duvet set. Just a single duvet. But look at that. £2.50. Can't go wrong. I've never sold beds. Well, I say linen. It isn't linen. I've never sold bedding before. I know some people can do quite well with it. Um, there weren't any listed. There weren't any sold. So I thought, do you know what? Let's make a listing. I'll let you know in due course how well it does. Do you ever come across something and think, ooh, that feels like really good quality? And then you think, is this going to be like a sleeper hit? Like a sleeper outdoor hiking brand hit that's uh, worth loads? Uh, this wasn't. But the quality was really good, so I'm surprised it's uh, not worth more. £7. This is actually a lady size. They were 14 but like, definitely oversized. Yeah, it was like... It had water resistivity, it was like wind resistivity, lovely fleece, but yeah, just, just not worth very much. Here we go, a pair of Echo leather trainers, uh, always do the bend test, they can crack, the soles can crack really uh, substantially, so they can look good on top, but the soles can just be knackered, so always check them. These were like a size 9 I believe, nice sort of men's formal leather trainer. Uh, £10, you can probably get about 25 out of those, so for me, not enough profit, but you know, if you buy them for yourself, that's a good price. Now, a bit of a heads up, I don't find these Ralph Lauren um, more sort of ornate <laughs> embroidered with pillows do that well either. I thought they did once upon a time. You know, Great Britain, three, all the, all the hallmarks of a standout polo, but even so, I find, well, I found like 20 quids hard to get, hard to justify. Seven pounds, and it's bright orange. Of all the colours that are going to sell well, I just don't think orange is the one. So, even though that's a good price for you buying for yourself, from a resale perspective, uh, nah, I would only pay a couple of quid for these. I'm Aha, right. This is a bit more like it. This is a True Religion t-shirt. If you weren't aware, that's the uh, True Religion logo. And uh, there's the old sort of Buddha character on the back too. Lovely graphic print. Fairly new one. It's a printed, uh, printed label there. But uh, for a fiver, definitely worth picking up. Not worth a huge amount. Um, probably no more than sort of 17 to 20. But nice big size. Lovely condition. That's a winner. Now, this was interesting. This is a Timberland Earthkeeper's organic cotton t-shirt, new with tags, check it out, new with tags, um, it was, how much was that, £7, now, seems like a good deal, right, nice pocket to the front, lovely quality, nice embroidery to the rear, but Timberland clothing sucks, I don't know what it is about it, there's just no demand for it, so I left that one. Okay, over to the toys and board game section, now, this just looks a bit different, doesn't it? It looks like it could be potentially good. Um, £3.50. I'm going to butcher this one so badly. Carcassonne? Carcassonne? Oh, I don't know. However it's pronounced. Anyway, it's made in Germany. I believe it's from the early 2000s. Um, and there are like, expansion packs and all sorts of this game. It's one of those where you sort of, yeah, buy the sort of original version and then there are yeah, various expansions and side things to add to it. But yeah, 3 50 Not worth a huge amount, but... Decent, decent return, and uh, yeah, decent following, so yeah, not bad. Now, this caught my eye pretty easily, really. Yeah, check it out, Airwalk. I mean, look, older Airwalk, I think, can do okay. This wasn't, this was more like a sort of Sports Direct special. But have a guess, just have a guess how much that would be. Five, six quid, maybe? 20 pounds! Are you having an absolute giraffe? What absolute mickey take? Oxfam. I am naming and shaming. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now they have like Hollister and other bits and bobs, but honestly, just who's going to spend 20 quid on that? No one. <laughs> absolutely no one. I don't mean to like just grate on charity shop pricing all the time, but come on. <laughs> just be realistic. I don't know. Yeah, 35, no, is that 25? 25 quid for a Rohan jacket? I mean, that's not out of the question, but yeah. Safe to say, nothing was bought here. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not done. 
Now this book looked cool. This is something that really interests me, like uh, industrial history and mining and stuff. So I thought, hey, that's pretty sweet. I might get that for myself. Not at fifteen pounds, I'm not. Fifteen quid for that book. Wasn't old. Wasn't like a limited edition. It's just a a book that should have been priced up about two quid. I just honestly, oh, yeah. See you later, Oxfam. Okay, calm, next shop, let's move on. Now, this would have been quite good. Uh, this is a lower Alpine, no sorry, not low Alpine, low pro case. Um, they do camera cases. I find they do pretty well, even the small ones. Uh, this was sort of like a bridge camera sort of size case. It was £3.50, that would have been quite good, but it was missing the top strap. So it's basically worthless. Um, then I noticed these lovely pair of Berghaus boots. Look at that. Lovely brown colour, hardly anywhere. Unfortunately, uh, as you'll see in a moment, uh, also rather expensive. Ready? Yeah. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> just, just, just no. <laughs> I, oh, small size as well. I think they're like a size seven and a half. Uh, look, they are in lovely condition, but you just have to ask the question. Who's going to walk in and spend 40 quid on a pair of second-hand walking boots? Yeah, niche market. Come on. Anyway, I've tried to bemoan too much, but it's uh, it's hard to ignore, isn't it, sometimes? It's hard to ignore. There's a pair of Converse, again, small size, and they were 12 quid, low tops. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> This hat made me laugh. Look at this. Be nice. Well, look, I'm trying, but when the prices are stupid, it's hard to be, isn't it? <laughs> okay, come on. Positive, positive, positive. <gasps> a positive. Mountain Hardware. Love this brand. Look at that. £4.50 for a Mountain Hardware, uh, like a micro grid fleece. Lovely bit of embroidery there. This isn't going anywhere. This is a keeper. Love a bit of Mountain Hardware. Um, yeah, a, a subsidiary of Columbia, would you know? Um, but uh, yeah, good quality outdoor gear, love it. Hey, finally, a positive. Now I had to pluck this one down from the uh, dizzying height of the uh, upper display rail. Uh, that yeah, the brand, brand is called Tolchan. I sold Tolchan before. Um, I find this brand the more sort of out there the design, the better they do. And this one's pretty out there. Uh, Six pound fifty. That's okay, it's a size large, which I guess is like a sort of UK 16, something like that. Um, the really sort of jazzy oil prints can do even better, but this should be a decent return. This is just for giggles, just for giggles, ready? Basic Ralph Lauren polo uh, t-shirt, older tag, £20. £20, just, just run Chris, just run. Oh my goodness. Okay, moving swiftly on. Hey look, a pair of Air Force Ones. Can I make a bold claim here? I found Nike Air Force Ones have really slowed down in terms of like desirability. Okay, they're still desirable. But on the second hand market, the sort of the selfie rate just seems to have, I don't know, ground to a halt. Certainly for the sort of more plain colours. Certainly for smaller sizes. I've still got a few listed and uh, yeah, just not really sort of generating any interest at all. Um, so the, the repair there, they were sort of grey. I think they were 15 quid, something like that. So, again, if you buy them for yourself, that's fine. Um, yeah, I had a pair, a few other pairs of trainers, but um, nothing that was sort of within budget, so to speak, or good enough condition, so that's that. Oh, yeah, so this was a kid's uh, Liverpool shirt, but they wanted £4.50 for it. I think there is a market for older shirts. Look at that, Xavi Alonso, what a player. But, um, yeah, there's not, not enough in that, unfortunately. Now, I need to make a point. This is These are a pair of A6 Anusa trainers, and they're like a triathlon shoe. Here's the thing, though, out of the way, coat. Here's the thing, nobody is going to want to buy a pair of running shoes with that little grip. On, they are so worn. They must have done hundreds of miles. They still want to have a pound fifty. If they're in good condition, that's a good price. And just like that, we're back in the car. Um, 
that was surprisingly good compared to last time, which was a little bit, well, it was all right, but yeah, it was um, a lot better today. Nice mixture of stuff as well. So the last couple of shops, I just didn't film in because the, uh, I just, I just didn't. <laughs> but I'll show you what I got now. Um, yeah, penultimate shop. It's like a little independent, only takes cash. Got a couple of bits. So I got somewhere, just a little card game. Um, we'll probably play this at Christmas. It's actually in German. Uh, what, was I, what was I say? Mogul Motta, Schumann Urlaubt. I don't know what that is, but anyway, it's the German version of the card game. It's only a pound. It looks fairly basic. Might be right, might be rubbish, but for a pound. Doesn't matter, but I'll be keeping that one. Then they had a couple of pairs of shoes. These were three quid. Never had this brand before. Uh, Yonex. So these are a pair of indoor, like badminton or squash shoes, I believe. It's got some non marking soles. They're in pretty good condition, to be honest. A bit weird though, I uh, was in the shop. Somebody actually tried them on, literally just in the middle of the shop. Um, they obviously didn't fit too well, so they left them. And I thought, I'll take them, but that's a bit weird to have like a fresh foot in it. Anyway, never mind. Paid three quid. Where's the little doober gone? There he is, three pounds. Um, 20 quid plus posts and all that. Not amazing, but the condition won them over. They're a UK size. What is that? 28.5 is the, uh, the length. They are UK size 10. Nice men's size. So they should do okay. And then there were these. These were two pounds. Now, they've been resold and the resoles are actually quite worn. And I've, I am the nard. But the thing is, I don't know how well this is gonna pick it up. How well is that gonna pick it up? I'm not sure. Basically, I believe these are a pair of Lokes. Um, now, the heel text is completely gone. Like, there's no distinguishing, noisy bike, no distinguishing what they are at all. But on the side, they say um, Oban, Oban. Now, I typed it into Google, and the two main searches were Loke or Joseph Cheney. I was like, crikey, okay. So I need a bit of sort of de-wrinkling. I thought for two quid, even though they've been resold, surely there's some money in that. Um, they're a size eight and a half, so not a bad men's size, made in England. <sighs> we'll see, there might, it might be a flop, but I thought for two quid, I'm, I'm giving them a go. And then final shop, three bits in there. Um, the margins for this one aren't great, but the last thing I, I sold of this, well, this brand sells fairly quickly if it's priced right, and that is Ping. This is a sort of standard Ping, long sleeve, sort of like mid layer, size large. So that was a fiver. I'd expect sort of mm, 17 to 20 on that one. So not amazing profit, but say lovely condition. So that should sell pretty quickly, hopefully. Uh, two more bits, do this one first. This brand is a bit of a sleeper hit, although I haven't actually sold anything of this yet but i they does get a lot of watches but then what what do watches mean nothing so this brand is the it's a french brand uh Mousquetel, or something like that anyway uh that was 15 quid um i might wear it for myself for a bit you know but it's got this sort of offset zip 100 percent cotton really thick um sort of hooded jacket say size 2xl lovely big size um i just sort of have promise i mean i'd love to say i get 40 quid for that I don't know, but I think, so. I think I'll wear it myself for a bit and see where we go. So no big loss there. And then finally, got a pair of A6 Gore-Tex trainers, proper fuzzy feet footwear. How you doing, buddy? Fuzzy feet footwear, uh, special, these ones. These were a tenner. So again, you know, if you're buying from Vinted, that's probably what sort of price you'll pay in total. Um, these are the Gel Pulse 10 with the Gore-Tex. I guess it's like a lining because they're not some... Um, they're not like trail shit. Well, mm, no, they also sort of like road shoe soles, but I guess it's just sort of like a, a hybrid road slash trail shoe, but pretty cool. Haven't seen a pair before. Do love my Asics. They're a UK size eight, I believe. I believe they're a men's size, even though they were in the women's section. Um, yeah, minimal wear to the soles. They were 10 pounds, but I'd hope for a little, little bit of a clean up. Uh, 35, 40, hopefully. So we'll see. But say for a tenner, I wasn't gonna leave them behind. And that, I think, is everything. So really not bad at all. Not bad at all for a couple of hours searching. Um, favorite find? I think I'm gonna have to give it to the A6. Yeah, I've, I've, I sorry, probably my favorite brand of shoe. Um, not always the best seller, uh, but so I'm loyal to them in terms of running and 
yeah, I just lo love selling them. When they're in good condition, unlike those nooses, which are absolutely knackered. But there we go. I'm not done. I'm not done. I went to one more charity shop, a charity shop that I don't think I've ever been into. Oh, Geronimo. Geronimo. <laughs> Please stay there. You've only got to be there for two minutes. Come on, stay, stay, stay. Is it gonna stay? Maybe, okay, back in there. So yeah, a charity shop that I've, I don't think I've ever been into it. On the outskirts of Exmouth, I think it's an independent one. Just had a hunch to go in, and I'm glad I did because potentially had the best find of the day in there. So, now, one of these things, I broke my own rule. Broke my own rule, I bought some Gant. You're probably thinking, what on earth you buy Gant, Chris? You mentioned it in your last, vi in your video about rubbish brands. But uh, bought some Gant chinos. Now, to be fair, Gant bottom half stuff has done a lot better for me than Gant top half stuff. And the reason I bought these, for a couple of reasons. One, they were only three quid. Which I thought was a fair price. But also, um, the size, I've never, never seen one of these before. Ready, if I can spin it around. Width 36, length 36. Yeah, 36 inch inside leg. They are absolutely massive. So I thought, given how unusual that sort of those dimensions are, I've got to give them a go. Again, nobody might, there might be nobody that size that wants them, so there might be a complete flop, but again, I had to give them a go. So, oops, I'll blame myself if they, if they fail. Uh, so, I've only got three bits total. This is where I wish the GoPro would stay where it is. Please just stay there one. Okay, but I'll be quick. I got this Adidas uh, tracksuit top. This was a fiver. I might keep it, I don't know. Um, it's, it's probably not, not worth very much on eBay. It's, it's, it's in okay condition. A bit of sort of crazing to the logo, but nice sort of embroidered uh, stripes on there. So I'm gonna say I might keep it, might sell it, we'll see. But these, this, these are the first things. <laughs> these were the first things I picked up, and did a little, uh, did a little search in the shop, little comp search, and uh, sort of scurried back to pick them up. So they were eight pounds. There we go. Uh, they are Merrell or Merrell, however you pronounce them. Uh, these are called the Oslo um, boots. Leather boots, waterproof, nice rugged sole. There is a bit of wear to the heel that initially put me off them. And that one as well. See, there's a little bit of wear there, so they're not going to get top price. But this comp screenshot should say, we should confirm why I picked them up. So these can sell incredibly well. Need a bit of a clean to the front, that's okay. But the sort of um, furry sort of Sherpa lining is absolutely fine. Got both of the uh, laces to the back, that's good. So it really is just a bit of mud, mud not really mud, is it? It's a sort of uh, dirt to the outsoles and the, um, the wear. Obviously, can't do much about that. Um, but yeah, for eight quid, hopefully 50, given their condition. So they're a UK size six, nice size. But yeah, incredible find, incredible. Just uh, sat on the shelf. They didn't really have much else in there, to be honest. But um, yeah, I'm really glad I popped in. Got those three bits. And that is the cherry on top of a, to be fair, pretty good day. A pretty good day. So yeah, can't complain, happy. Got to get home now and list this stuff and hopefully Sell some stuff because my eBay shop, sure, my eBay shop has been dead. So yeah, cool. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I'm trying to get these more of these sort of sourcing videos out and about as much as I can. I'm getting out, going out more with work these days, so if I can spare a sort of hour, hour and a half on my lunch break to do some sourcing, um, I will because it's a money making opportunity, and my family and I can really do a bit right now. So yeah, there we go. Thank you again for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel out. Really trying to push for a thousand subs. Hopefully, sort of start middle next year. That'd be lovely. So, thank you if you subscribed. And uh, until the next one, which I don't know where I'll be, but I'll be wherever I am. Take care, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.